two thirty in the morning. Okay, if we look at this thing. It's supposed to be writing on the wall, but you can't really tell because I suck. Sign reads: Brainy bums go north, while the brawny bums go east. The bats both lead the same way, but they're at their own difficulty level. So basically, here, let me save. Basically, the north path is uh, a way you can go where you just answer some quiz questions, and if you take the other path, you, you get um, a bunch of fights instead. I'm gonna take the easy path because I know all the answers to the quizzes. At least I should. It's been years, but I'll remember hopefully. Bahamut Breath Quiz. Answer these three true false questions for you answer, or correctly. Otherwise, I'll call my friends and we'll destroy you. In other words, you fight a really strong group. King, the king of Arnia City is King Apollo. That's false. Hmm, bye. Okay, he's gone. That's right. Okay, uh, the god of darkness named Organia. That's false. It's Organa. Okay, bye. Last one. All right, the last one is the king and the god of light was not turned evil. That's true, I think. There we go. Cool. Saved us a lot of trouble. Now here's the interesting part. Remember I was talking about not being able to see because of the intense heat. If you look really carefully, you can see the walls. But I threw a little curveball in there. You keep walking through, and you still you lose track of yourself. I know exactly where to go though, so... <laughs> there we go. And we're at the top. How'd you get here? You should be dinner with the fish right now. Okay, he raises his axes and a bunch of guys around him. Now we fight the god form of blaze on. We gotta get rid of those blaze souls, otherwise it's gonna suck. Night bolt them. Hit him with everything you got. Alright. Chances are I'll end up at fouring, but we'll just see some of his attacks. Keep mashing revenge on him. And hitting him with the katanas and whatnot. I really didn't have a concept of game balance back in the day, did I? Alright, in any case, uh, the weaker he gets, the more powerful his attack gets. F4. <laughs> this song is called Crazy Forks. Crazy 4KS. It's a remix we did for our friend Nightshade back in Squareville back in the day, which is an IRC channel he used to hang out on. It's pretty good. Or actually, no, this one's not Crazy Forks. This is... Ah, uh, who cares? You guys don't know what I'm talking about anyways. Okay. Um, Blazing the stabs his axe in the ground, blows up the castle. Blowing them all in different directions. Blazing is still alive. So he's pretty powerful. Gario, welcome to the void. You can choose who you want to play as in this next part. Once you finish the person's path, you'll hopefully be reunited with your allies. Oh yes, be absolutely sure to save your game here. We'll do that first. Awesome song, I can't find the source of it. I'm thinking it's from a Ninja Gaiden game. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments or email me if you know my email address. Okay, this is a void. You can pick where you want to go next um, through these little fiery things over here. Um, also, if you don't feel like continuing a quest like Gary was saying here, uh, you got a temporary mist body where you can go explore the void. Um, there's future winds. It'll show you what the future of the game is going to be like. You just go down here. They're not really good at explaining what they're for or anything like that, but this is a giant thing in the sky. Let's see. Oh, they have descriptions. A few of these images from future winds will be coming up. It appears to be a meteor, but there are three of them, each different sizes. Maybe it's from, from different times. In any case, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the world works. And then there's a uh, earth over to the east, but I'm not going to check that out. It takes too long to get there. Let's just get back to where I'm supposed to be, which is the northwest. I'm not going to do all the future winds because they all look pretty much the same. There's an earth on one of them, that's it. Originally there was going to be a secret entrance to a hidden area here too, but I never ended up putting it in. Saves the game. Alright, and I think that's all the time we have for this video. Tune in next time and we'll do Chenzi's Path.